Isn't this it is awesome. Ellie picked it out. Holy crap. I know. <laughs> Look at the back of it. It's so pretty. <laughs> Holy cow, baby. Walk around, Walk around it. <laughs> God, baby, that's awesome. I know. <laughs> that is awesome. You look so handsome. <laughs> I like the ties in here. Love you too. You look, good, you look amazing. Thank you. You look amazing. <laughs> Pretty, I know it's crazy. I'm just like sweating like crazy. It looks like a princess. <laughs> Thank you. I know. It like fits. It's so nice. I love it. I love you. And it's our job to make it laugh. And it's our job to make it laugh.
Mm. All right. What you in the face? <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come here. I'll take a hug. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we're good here. Hi. I'll be centered here. Good evening, family and friends. We have the pleasure on this beautiful evening to witness the recommitment of Andrew Scott and Brittany Archer in holy matrimony. This is a day of great honor, celebration, and reverence on which we come together before God to recognize and commemorate the sacred love and dedication shared between Andy and Brittany. I feel privileged and honor as Brittany's godmother to be here today among all of you to be their officiant and to witness their recommitment to a lifetime of love for one another. One year ago today, in the company of their immediate family, Andy and Brittany made a promise and commitment to cherish each other as husband and wife. This promise was made out of love for one another to be faithful companions, lifelong partners, and each other's one true love. As they stand before God, you, their beloved family and friends, They are recommitting this promise to stay by each other's side as husband and wife, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, through the good times and bad. They vow once more to love each other without reservation, to honor and respect each other, to continue to support one another, to protect and comfort in times of distress. They promise to remain devoted to each other and allow each other to continue to grow in mind and spirit through patience, kindness, and understanding. For it is truly a remarkable moment in life when you meet the person who makes you feel complete, the person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place, the person with whom you share a bond so special it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. May we all remember and cherish this day with love as we witness Andy and Brittany recommit, declare their love for one another. (laughs) Andy and Brittany continue to learn to work together, to laugh together, and to love together. Don't get caught caught up in worldly things that may draw you apart. Instead, always focus on your shared devotion and turn to other in times of need. As your relationship continues to strengthen, you will find that you come to share remarkable love, a love that is both abundant and giving, freely accepted. The joy you'll find as you pursue your lives, shared lives together will fuel you to face head-on challenges you'll encounter on this earth. On your journeys together, keep your spouse in the space of highest priority in your heart. The love you share must be guarded and cherished. It is your most valuable treasure. As you enter into this recommitment to one another, you are restating your pledge before your witness here this evening. We're going to start the vows. Andy and Brittany, the sacred vows that you made last year and are making to one another again today, present you with the opportunity to express your love and promise to one another. So you're already facing one another. So put your hands together, which they're already there. <laughs> okay. Over to me. Over to me. <laughs> Under the eyes of God, Andy, do you proclaim, Brittany, to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you promise to continue to honor her in love, to be sensitive to her needs, to comfort her in difficult times? and to put your full and complete trust in her so long as you both shall live. I do. (laughs) Good job. (laughs) Okay, under the eyes of God, Brittany, do you proclaim Andy to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. (laughs) Do you promise to continue to honor him in love, to be sensitive to his needs, to comfort him in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in him so long as you both shall live? I do. To further commemorate this occasion, we now have Andy and Brittany exchange rings. (laughs) 
The circle fingers. formed by the ring symbolizes your eternal love right. and commitment to one another. Let these rings remind you <clears throat> always that love and the, of the promises you made here to one year ago and again today on this day. So repeat after me as you place the ring on your loved one's hand. I, Andrew Scott. I, Andrew Scott. Give you, Brittany Archer Scott. Give you, Brittany Archer Scott. <laughs> <laughs> this ring of my, my love and commitment. This ring of my love and commitment. And with this ring, I be wed again. And with this ring, I leave it the wed again. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm> right. <laughs> close enough. Good job. <laughs> close enough. Right. We got what you were saying. We're good. <laughs> Here. No, Here. Your knuckles are swollen, babe. It, I'm hot. I can't. <laughs> we're good. Okay. Got it. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> okay. We're so bad at this. We're good. <laughs> It's okay. Okay. I, Brittany Archer. I, Brittany Archer. Give you Andrew Scott. Give you Andrew Scott. This ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. This ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. And with this ring, I be wed again. And with this ring, I be wed again. Yay! <laughs> she had practice. <laughs> uh, so by the power vested in me, I pronounce you, Andrew Scott and Brittany Ar Archer Scott, as husband and wife again. So, Andy, you may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Love you. Your pleasure to reintroduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Scott. We go now, I guess. I think so. Ready? Uh, so before we continue with the procession, I just wanted to um, let you know that Andy and Brittany invite you all to go down as you exit here underneath the barn for the um, reception hour. Um, for the cocktail hour. Okay. All right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> smells good. Yeah. Smells good. I'm the one that you trust is all your secrets. You wake me up at midnight to come over, then you fall asleep with your head on my shoulder. We keep on pretending that we're just friends. But all there is is heat between us Every two drink blows spill on the air To light a new spark that we've been hiding Whenever we catch eyes, you look away like You wanna cross lines, you're fighting it inside you And me are bound to start a fire with all this heat With all this My mom always asks me about Saying she's a good girl but don't miss out When I date someone I find myself comparing What you would do different in that situation I try but I can't get you out of my head Cause all there is is heat between us Every two drink blows spill on the Sam and Mike.
Taylor and Dan. Emma and Tony. Kim and JR. Heather and Maddie. Casey, Polly, and Jordan. Polly and Brad. Our maid of honor, Allie, and best man, Zach. Be the best man of I just want to let it go for the night. That would be the best therapy for me. And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Scott! Love 
greatest love alive. I'll ask where this gone. Ladies and gentlemen, one more great big round of applause for our bride and groom, Brittany and Andrew. You know, I'd really like to thank you guys all for trushing up here and, you know, a little bit out of way, but I'll tell you, the, the, the venue and, and doing what we wanted to do last year, doing it this year, you know, in my opinion, is, is well worth the trip. And, the and I'll tell you, to see so many family and friends and so many people that are close to us, you know, show up here today and, and celebrate something that, you know, like everyone's saying, oh, geez, God, you did it last year. What the hell's the damn difference, you know? But it was really, it really was just like it was last year. It was the first time. And, and again, I, I can't thank enough of you guys for showing up and doing, you know, you guys are family, you guys are friends. You know, we love you. We'll never stop loving you guys. And we're all a part of this big family, Kingsville, Perry Hall, Middle River, Essex, whoever. But we're well, not overly, but it's all good, man. It's all, no, I mean, overly, we're all good. But I want to thank you guys all for being here. And, and you know, Britt and Andy, you know, and, yeah, Andy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, it's, uh, you know, I could I couldn't ask for anything better, man. I, you know, as a dad, there's many dads out here. You know, the only thing we want is our daughters to be taken taken care of by somebody good. And you know, I'm thankful at all that you're there. So, thank you very much. And Casey, if you ever do that again, you're out of here. Don't do that again. With a drink, man. All right. Thanks, everyone, for coming to Andy and Brittany's wedding, part two. Thanks to all the parents of the bride and groom for making this special day happen again. <laughs> Brittany, you look beautiful, unbelievable. Andy, three haircuts later, and I've seen you look better. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Zach, Andrew's best friend for 32 years. That's crazy to say. Right, right. Uh, yes, that's pretty much our entire life. We've talked about being each other's best man in each other's wedding for as long as I can remember. But I didn't realize I would have to do this twice. I can't believe we finally made it to the real wedding. What a crazy year. Everybody, I mean, have you lived through this? It's crazy. Like, this is unbelievable. Five bachelor parties later, and we made it. <laughs> right. I'm sure everyone can't wait to see all the pictures on Instagram. When I found out Andy was still having this wedding, I was a little shocked. I couldn't quite understand at first, but then I thought about it, and I couldn't be quite right if they didn't have a real full-size wedding. Both Andy and Bert have the larger-than-life personality and happiness that should be enjoyed by a huge group. You can't just do a 50-person wedding or 20-person wedding and realize how much love is between these two. Andy, a.k.a. Twigman, a.k.a. Stick Boy, a.k.a. Skeletor, <laughs> a.k.a. my best friend. We've grown up together through plenty of stupid ideas. It's pretty amazing that we've made it 32 years and haven't died. <laughs> We've had a lot of stupid ideas. Most of them mine. I will say that. Andy followed me through thick and thin plenty of times. But Andy was always by my side. But Andy had some real, real dumb ideas. And I followed him. One of Andy's dumb ideas when we were kids... Uh, Let's see if the white whale can make it up this giant hill full of ice. He goes, it's a Subaru, all-wheel drive. 
Yeah, yeah. Big old yeah. <laughs> we were jumping we were jumping fire on our bikes when we were like seven years old. And now that I have a kid, it's unbelievable to think about that fact as that it could actually happen. <laughs> A seven-year-old kid jumping fire on a bike is unbelievable. And he's like, yeah, it's a good idea. Let's do it. Uh, the time Andy said, hey, uh, my dad has fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> and then broke the stick of a Coke can-sized bottle rocket and almost blew my face off. Sorry, Mr. Bob. We definitely owe you a ton of fireworks. <laughs> Uh, the time Andy wanted to come to my house after working like 20 hours straight and had literally two beers and almost peed on my dad's TV in front of him. He said, uh, it's not my fault. I worked a lot. <laughs> Andy and I had plenty of bad ideas, but I heard an idea that surprised me. Andy said, the next girl I date I'm going to marry. I said, uh, Andy, that's pretty dumb, dude. Uh, you don't have to marry the next girl you date. Typical Andy. Nope, I'm doing it. Uh, I was surprised, and then I finally met Bert. I talked to her. She was just like Andy. She was exactly what he needed. Beautiful, calm, level-headed, smart, tall, uh, talked a lot and liked to party, and genuinely cared about other people more than herself. I knew she was a perfect girl for Andy, and I knew Andy was getting married. I'm so glad you two found each other. Over the past few years, I've gotten to know Bert and how great she really is and couldn't be happier to pass on my best friend to a girl like her. Sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Budweiser. Uh, and if you didn't know, Andy was a little upset that he couldn't be the fifth archer. Girl. So Andy, knowing Andy, I knew he would be a good dad. And I said, hey, Andy, are you going to have kids one day? He said, eventually. But then they got their dog. Archer. Everyone knows him as Archie. But his real name's Archer. Andy was upset he couldn't be the fifth Archer daughter. So if you didn't know, Andy named his dog Archer. Archie. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fill this speech with a bunch of advice on how to keep a healthy marriage since Andy and Bert have already been married a year. And if Andy didn't listen to me the first time, he wouldn't have made it this far. One thing I will say that will keep you married for life. Happy wife, happy life. I love you guys, and I wish you many more years of happiness. Cheers, and I love you guys. Great big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for our best man, and now I'd like to invite our maid of honor, Allie. I'm going to keep this a little bit more short and sweet, other than um, little Zacky Poo's speech. I'd like to start this speech off by thanking everyone for joining us tonight to celebrate the beautiful couple. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Allie. <laughs> and I'm a I'm phenomenal at giving speeches. Like you know. Yeah. But for those of you who do not know that, you will soon find out. So, as you guys know, there's four of us girls. 
Brittany only had 14 months to enjoy the luxuries of being the only child before I graced the world with my presence. From my earliest memory, she has been, she has always been resolute in my life. Growing up, I always knew that no matter what my day brought, I always had a best friend to come home to. Brittany, I just want to take some time right now to thank you for being such an incredible sister, friend, and inspiration to me. I'm pooped. I'm pooped. <laughs> All right. I admire how you fearlessly put your heart and soul into everything and everyone. That incredible trait has led you to this wonderful and kind man that you've been able to call husband for the past year. Andrew. I'm cool. I'm cool. Let me check it all again. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for loving and treating my sister in a way that us single ladies can only dream of. <laughs> you give me hope for my own future, and I thank you for that as well. It's been an honor to call you my brother for the last year, and I look forward to all the years to come. I love you both very much. Let's all raise our glasses and toast to the incredible man and my stunning sisters. Cheers to the Scots. Come on, you guys. Now this is a story all about how Brittany and Andy aren't single now. I'd like to take a minute to sit right there. I'll tell you all about how they've been married for a year. for the sisters of our bride, ladies and gentlemen. Dancing with another man, but that's all right. The way he's spinning you around has stopped the whole room. I'm gonna have a hell of a time trying to feel your daddy's boots. Got a heart of gold, right hand like a vice The same man on Sunday morning, last Saturday night Barbed wire tough and cowboy cool I'm gonna have a hell of a time Trying to feel your daddy's boots He was the first to hold your hand First to dry your tears We had a man to man And now I'm taking it from here I made him a promise Girl, I promise 
promise you I'll always do the best that I can do But I'm gonna have a hell of a time Trying to feel your daddy's boots Say there's things about him that you see in me He's the kind of man I want to be Gotta give a man credit where credit is due I'm gonna have a hell of a time trying to feel your daddy's blues He was the first to hold your hand There's a light that glows by the front door Don't forget the keys under the mat When childhood stars shine Always stay humble and kind Go to church cause your mom says to Visit grandpa every chance that you can won't be wasted time Always stay humble and kind Hold the door, say please, say thank you Don't steal, don't cheat, don't lie I know you got mountains to climb But always stay And here's why Bitterness keeps you from flying Always stay humble and kind Know the difference between sleeping with someone And sleeping with someone you love I love you ain't no pickup line So always stay humble and kind Ladies and gentlemen, a great big round of applause for our groom and his mother. Should be a crime every time she walks across the room. Like a dream, a movie scene, what's a country boy to do? With those red lips and those blue jeans, my heart's skipping a beat. She's that pure kind of authentic, that top shelf kind of thing. She's Southern Girl, can't deny the way she moves. Can see if I smooth and slow, everybody knows. You gotta put her in a love song. To leave with her hanging on her own. A pick up pounds ain't gonna fly. She don't fall for a town charge. She's southern girl. Can't deny the way she moves. Can see if I smooth and slow. Everybody knows. You gotta put her in a love song. She's southern girl. Don't mind my so beautiful. Make a poor man cry. There she goes. Everybody knows. You gotta put her in a Song. She's Southern Girl. Oh, 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 oh. Southern Girl. Oh, 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 oh. 
lips Since I finally got that kiss Struck it rich And now I get I get to put her in a love song She's southern gold Hands in night The way she moves Like Tennessee fire Smooth and slow Everybody knows You gotta put her in a love song 